Hi, this is Ben with Dream Rides of Tennessee, and today we're going to do a clutch cable replacement on a 2009 Fat Bob. For starters, your clutch cable should not look like this. Got the bike secured and up on the lift. The first step, loosen the exhaust at the heads here. I'm going to take the exhaust off so that we can get access to the clutch cover where the cable enters. Right now that the exhaust is loosened up, we're going to go ahead and loosen these cover bolts. All right, we have the exhaust with the nuts still on it because you don't need to go through the headache of taking the exhaust the whole way off. We just have it propped up there with something soft. We've got the cover off. And now Dusty's about to take the circ clip out here. And when you're doing this, just be careful because there are some small pieces underneath this circular cover here, including some ball bearings. Make sure you keep track of it all. Now removing that rotational assembly, while not absolutely necessary to put a new clutch cable in, is a good idea if you're going to chase the threads like Dusty likes to do, clean these threads up because the cable kind of goes in at an odd angle and having some threads there to pack with gunk doesn't exactly make it easier. So he's going to chase those real quick and this way he can clean out that whole cover without worrying about anything getting caught in that assembly. Dusty's got the new cable threaded in now and he's going ahead and putting that cam assembly back together. Now, uh, before you have the cover mounted, it's a good idea while you still have some slack on the cable to go ahead and route the cable the way it needs to be routed. And then we've gone ahead and put a fresh gasket in there. We're going to go ahead and put the cover on. And Dusty's torquing these in a kind of a star pattern, torquing them to 120 inch pounds or 10 foot. Clutch cable install here. We like to do a full clutch adjustment. So he's pulling the derby cover on the primary all right we got the clutch adjusted to spec we got a fresh derby cover gasket on there got some fresh transmission fluid going in here so we have the top side of the cable the top end of the cable into the clutch perch there making sure to get our little clip on the pivot pin there and we're going to go ahead and take the bike off of the lift so we can do our final adjustment. We've got the exhaust tightened back up and Dusty's just doing the final fluid level check for the transmission on the side stand because that is the procedure for the six speed. We we'll always make the final clutch adjustment when the bike is off the lift on the ground so we can make sure that there's no creep of the bike with the lever all the way in. Make sure that it disengages all the way. It's got the proper amount of free play there. And we're going to go ahead and put the boot back down and we're all done. 